Moin, I'm Catherine and today I'm in bed with Veronica Fusaro. Exactly, hi. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, we just established that you also played at Riverbahn Festival. Yeah, last in, year. Last year, exactly. well, 2017, because we're exactly. also going to put that in the play. We, we admit it is not Riverbahn Festival anymore, but we're going but to we're gonna still exactly. put this into, into the play. So just cool. so you're not wondering. Um, did you see any other gigs at Riverbahn Festival? Um, I did see a couple of other artists, but honestly... I don't remember. I mean, you're around, so I mean, I can't yeah, yeah, yeah. There were. I mean, it was the first time I was at the rapper bar, uh, rapper one festival, and the first time in Hamburg. So it was a lot of impressions at the yeah. same time. But it, it, I remember there were a couple of cool bands. Okay. Yeah, very cool nice. music. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. What happened last night? Last night, um, I had a gig in in Berlin actually. Mm -hmm. So we got over, we went we came over here in in like at four a.m. in the morning, but um, yeah, I played. Um, at the Lido Club mm -hmm. in Berlin and uh, nice. opened the concert for Kade Bostani. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was cool. Nice. Are you a morning person? No. <laughs> Definitely not. No. I don't like the morning. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so how long do you sleep when you can sleep in? I mean, if I'm tired, I'm able to sleep until like 12 p.m. Usually okay. around like midday, I, I get hungry and I do wake up. And, and then I, <laughs> I definitely need food at some point, but yeah. yeah but because, <laughs> not, not because it's been enough of sleep, but because you're hungry. Yeah. Actually, it does happen. Yeah. Like I wake yeah. up and I'm like, okay, I need something. <laughs> Some energy and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine when you had your last pillow fight? My last pillow fight? Oh, um, probably with my little brother. Okay. Um, but... Probably last year, yeah. Okay. It's been a while. I have to do that again. Again, yeah. So when you come home, uh, exactly. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> What's the most annoying, so annoying song apropos morning person to be woken up by? Oh my god, um, the most annoying song. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether if it's like, hmm. I was gonna say Happy Baby for, for all Williams, yes. but that song is so good that it does make me feel happy actually. So, um, I don't know. Something that would like, is so awful that you would instantly have to get up and turn it off. I mean, there's this one song that, um, when we plug in the phone, the Stefan's phone in the car, yeah. it always, it always plays the same song. Exactly. If it's my first one. And it's so annoying. <laughs> and I think Which song is it? It's a it's a Swiss German song. You okay. probably don't know it. It's yeah. Afremda. It's called. But yeah, yeah, it's terrible. And it's always the same song. That's why that happens in my party. <laughs> it, it, it's so it. annoying. It's so annoying. But yeah, yeah I, I think if I were hear it in the morning, it yes. would be even more annoying. Perfect. Perfect so, yeah. answer. Perfect answer. <laughs> what happens to you on a full moon? Full moon. Um, I usually am not that much affected by it. Okay. But um, I sometimes it does happen that I don't feel, uh, sleep that well. Yeah. Yeah. Do you write in bed? Like, do you write songs in bed? I usually not, but I do have already. Um, usually when I'm like about to go to sleep and something, just some random idea pops yeah. up in my mind, I do write it down on my phone or in my little notebook. Okay. But um, yeah, it does happen. Can you remember something that actually went into a song that came out of something like that? I'm not 100% sure anymore, but probably actually um, in the song Better If I Go, yeah. the one I've played before. Um, the pre-hook was the first thing that I had, like with the melody and the lyrics. Yeah. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the the first part, like maybe or too complex, or just to make no says that that part there, I wrote it just before I went to sleep. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> that's super interesting. Um, if this was your last night on Earth, okay, <laughs> what would you do? Okay, am I able to do anything? Anything. anything. Last night. Oh. Can I choose where it is yeah, and what weather it is? Yes. Okay, so it's a beautiful summer evening. And I'll be at the lake throwing a party with all my best friends and, and like the guitar and some good music and yeah, have a very cheesy sunset. Okay. And yeah, just feel happy. Yeah. And eat good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Super answer. Have you ever been so nervous or so excited about an upcoming event that you could sleep the night before? Um, I usually, when when this is the case, um, I don't really go to bed early because I know that I will be okay. tossing and turning mm -hmm. around in bed. So I'm like, okay, I'm 
rather read something or listen to some music to before I actually go to bed. And okay. then I sleep right in. Okay. But yeah. Okay. I don't know if that's a very good tactics as well, but it works for me. <laughs> I think so. Yes. <laughs> it works. Yeah. yeah. If you know sure. that that will like soothe your mind and then you exactly. can sleep, that's good. Yeah. Who would you like to write a lullaby for? Oh, that's a lovely question. Um, a lullaby for, for anybody? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I think writing, writing a lullaby for Kanye West would be quite funny. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I just imagine yes. him being such a, you know, personality. Yes. And then listening to they, a lullaby like you. <laughs> yeah, yes. that would be That's funny. Great. Yeah. And a funny picture. <laughs> yeah. Um, if an album could become a person, okay, which album would you like to have sex with? Okay, that's a very nice question. And it's not But, about um, the, it's not about the people who play the music. It's, okay, it's, about, it's the just about the music. The music, the music can be become a person, and then you can cook. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let me think. Oh. I'm not gonna say Marvin Gaye because that's the obvious one. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's the obvious one. Um, because everybody's gonna say that, right? I mean. I would probably say, hold on, that's a hard question. Though. I know, I know, I know. Like an album, like all the songs gotta be. Exactly. It would probably be one of the weekend songs, uh, album, sorry. Okay, Of yeah. the trilogy, but I don't remember which album it is, but the the album with Wicked Games on it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. it's part of the trilogy. Um, I think it's Thursday. It's, the album is called Thursday by The Weeknd. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Last question already. Alrighty, okay. Which monster sleeps under your bed? Oh, you know what? When I was little, I did think there was. Oh, I had this fear of having like an arm, okay, like yeah, you know, when you don't have it in the bed. And it would like bite my arm off or my feet. But um, I, when I grew up, I told myself, no, every monster has a good side as well. And so I told myself, no, it's a friendly monster. It's a good person. It's a good monster. And yeah. so, yeah, it's a good, it has become it's, it's, it has a good become monster. Good yeah, we're oh, that's friends so now. Sweet. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Let's say bye to the internet. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Maybe it's better if I go. Better if I oh, 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 oh. Maybe it's better